In today's session, we will learn how to view the database in SQLite that we had created in Android Studio and how to view the tables and data inside that SQLite. So let's see what are the steps for this. Step number one, we need to download and install SQLite browser. So for that, we'll go to the uh, search engine and we will type on Google. I'll prefer Google as a search engine. So I'll type SQLite browser download. So we'll go to the official website of sqlitebrowser.org and here we have a SQLite browser for Windows, for Mac and for different operating system. Uh, my operating system is Windows and I have a 64 bit operating system. So I'll choose this third option which is DB browser for SQLite and this is a standard installer. I always prefer installer because this will install the uh, SQLite browser in our system. So I am using this third option a standard installer for 64 bit windows because I have a 64 bit windows. Uh, you can also choose uh, the 32 bit installer if your windows is 32 bit. So I'll click on this 64 bit and this will download the uh, DB browser for SQL and this will download the installer. So uh, you can see the installer has down it has been downloaded. Now I'll click on this. This is the setup wizard and I'll click on next. I'll accept the agreement and then I'll click on next. And here I'll choose this uh, SQLite. I can also download this SQL Cipher, uh, but currently I'll prefer only to use DB Browser SQLite and I'll select on both these uh, options so that I have a desktop and program menu icon. Now I'll click on next. Uh, you can see that the uh, path for installation is C program files DB Browser. I don't want to change this path. You can change the path from here, the browse option but I'll choose the default location and now I'll click on next and this is asking me to install so I'll click on install. So you can see the setup wizard is completed for the DB browser and now in our system we have the DB browser. Now let me show you that uh, you can see this DB browser SQLite it's in our program so I'll click and let me show you. Uh, so this is the DB browser that we have already installed. Now let me close this and go to the uh, next step. So in the next step, uh, we need to open the Android Studio and we need to open the project which is already having an SQLite database. So in the previous uh, lesson, we have already created one SQLite database. If you can see, we had created this uh, DB helper file where we had uh, defined the database and the name of the database you can see this is the string we had created so the name of the database is my db so you must have an sqlite database in your project and if you will be having this sqlite project in uh, your uh, application then you will be able to see the database and its data inside so i am already i have already opened this project into the android studio and uh, you can see that I am already having SQLite database my DB. So let's see what is the next step. Uh, we need to connect a device. You can connect uh, a physical device, your mobile phone using USB or using Wi-Fi or you can also run the emulator from here. So we uh, have already installed and we know how to execute this emulator. So I am already having this uh, emulator. So let me launch this uh, emulator device so you can see this is the emulator i have uh, executed this so now my device is up and running so you can use emulator device virtual device or you can also connect your physical device and once you have connected this uh, physical device let's see which is the next step in the next step, you need to open the device file explorer. So it's the bottom on the bottom right. So you can see this is the device file explorer. So we need to click on this device file explorer, which will open the uh, files which we are having on our 
device. Next, we need to find out the application package and inside our application package, we need to find out the database. So uh, my application, you can see this is uh, uh, the com.example.cry. So this is the application package. So I need to search this application package inside the data folder. So I'll click on this data and then again, we need to search this data. So inside the data, we will be having the data folder. And again, in this data folder, we need to search our application package, which is com.example.crud. So you can see this is my application package, com.example.crud. I'll uh, click on this and now I'll go to the database section. So we can see here we have the database file, mydb. We had just uh, seen in the db helper file. So this is my db database file. So we have already searched this database file inside the device file explorer. Let's see which is the next step. We need to save this database file with SQLite extension. So we need to save this file. So for that we'll right click and we'll click on save. And if uh, the extension is already added .sqlite then you don't need to add but in my case uh, the extension is now na not added here. So I'll add the extension and before adding the extension, I would like to change the path. So I'm changing the path to C users and this is my username Nisa. You can save it anywhere in downloads folder, in documents folder, you can save it anywhere. So I have changed the path and then I'll add the extension dot SQLite as it is not here in my case. So if it is already in your case, you can leave this step as it is. Otherwise, you can add the extension mydb.sqlite. Now I'll save this file. So this database file has, uh, has been saved onto the device inside the C users and ESA. Let's see which is the next step. We need to open the SQLite browser. We had just downloaded the SQLite browser. So we need to open this SQLite browser. And so let me open this uh, SQLite browser. This is the SQLite browser we had just installed and on the top you can see it's the open database section. So I'll click on this open database and I'll go to the same location which is uh, in the C drive in the users folder and inside the NISA. We had stored the database file here with .sqlite extension. So you can see this is my db.sqlite file. So I'll select and open this file. And now you can see uh, we have three tables in this database, Android metadata, a profile which we had created in the previous session, the profile table. So I'll select this profile table. I can go to the browse data section and here I can select my profile table and you can see this is the data we had stored through our user interface, through our app. So this is how we can, uh, how we can see the data that is an SQLite database using the Android app and we had uh, created the app using the Android Studio.